Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Okonfo. I was just contemplating sending for you. You may sit down. Thank you, Nana. Okonfo, what do you care for? Nothing, Nana. I'm all right. Well, it is all peace here with me. What brings you here? I hope there's nothing wrong. Nana, I have come to warn you. Your enemies are at work. They want to take over your throne by pursuing your nephew. They want to kill him. What did you say? Nana, they want to kill your nephew. My enemies want to kill my nephew. Of what are you doing about it? I have decided to prepare a very powerful medicine to protect him against any physical and spiritual attack. And to enable you to continue with your throne. But one condition must be fulfilled. What is it talking for? I'm prepared to do anything. Anything to protect my nephew and the throne. Nana, there should never be the existence of any fair skin colored person on this land. Any such persons must be sacrificed to the gods. It is all it takes to protect him and the throne. Well said, Nana. Well said. Ascended this throne at a very tender age. But with the support of all, I have been able to steer the affairs of this town. Nana, I don't like the way Straha and Nkwantibisa are conducting themselves. Senti, you shouldn't be surprised. They are our opponents. If I should leave the throne without anyone to inherit me, someone has to come from their end to take up the throne. Sainty, I think Nana is right. We only need to close our ranks. Well, that is not the reason why I call you here. There is a serious problem that needs urgent solution. What is it, Nana? your inability to produce male children in this family. We need to do something. We need to do something before the situation gets serious. Nana, you sent for me. Yes, yes. Sit down, Confo. I come for I need your help. I want you to do everything in your capacity to help me. <laughs> Nana, I'm at your service. I'll give you half of my gold if you are able to help us. Nana, you still haven't told me the problem. It is about my throne, Okonfo. 
You know my family is made up of two factions. Yes. My side and that of Sraha. Exactly. If I don't get anyone to inherit me, I shall lose the throne. Now, now what exactly do you want me to do for you? I need a male child. A male child from my side to succeed me. <laughs> Nana, that is no problem. I'll do everything possible in my power to help you. Thank you. In fact, I'll go straight to the shrine now. Mm -hmm. Prepare the concoction that will make you have to children in abundance. Administer these herbs as I've told you before. And I promise you, you'll soon have male children. Thank, Thank you, Akonfo. <laughs> Nana, no, no. not to worry. I assure you, you'll soon have a male child to inherit you. Thank you very much, Akonfo. I shall call on you again. Yes, Nana. Mm. Munya Good morning, Nana. Good morning. Hey. You're welcome, Nana. Thank you. What brings you here this morning? Well, I'm here to see how you and the baby are faring. I hope you are taking good care of him. Yes, Nana. Nana, mm -hmm. do I need to continue taking the herbs? Mm, I think I will consult a confirm party. I have a meeting with him this evening. <laughs> no need to worry. OK, Nana. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> push. Push, push. Nana, I am here to formally inform you of our sister's delivery of a baby boy. Mm. The child is very healthy and handsome. Hey! Ah. <laughs> hey! I'll send for his father. Mm. But I propose we name him after Nana Beye. What do you think? Hey! Nana, what a coincidence! The child is the exact replica of Nana Abeye. Ubeka sa ye bone chika. Niye yi no. Hey Nana, you have mine. I give you my full support. Hey. Good, good. Hey. Um, the only person left now mm. is his father. Yes. Tell Sinti I'll visit them. Mm. Hey, God. Not until the birth of Abeyi. It was certain we were about to have the throne on her side. I see. So what exactly do you want me to do for you? <gasps> Nana, we want you to kill him for us. Mm. The oracle says it is impossible. It says Chudyampon Yami himself, the supreme being himself, Chudyampon protects that child and that 
anybody who touches that child does so at his own risk. There's nothing I can do. Nothing. Nana, there is nothing you can do. Nana, but you can do something. Do something. Except, of course, if you want us to provoke the Supreme Being. And you know what that will cost you. Provoke. If that be the case, Nana, I would rather say thank you. Thank you, Nana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Nana. Good evening, Okonfo. I was just contemplating sending for you. You may sit down. Thank you, Nana. Okonfo, what do you care for? Nothing, Nana. I'm all right. Well, it is all peace here with me. What brings you here? I hope there's nothing wrong. Nana, I have come to warn you. Your enemies are at work. They want to take over your throne. By pursuing your nephew, they want to kill him. What did you say? Nana, they want to kill your nephew. My enemies want to kill my nephew. Of what are you doing about it? I have decided to prepare a very powerful medicine to protect him against any physical and spiritual attack. And to enable you to continue with your throne. But one condition must be fulfilled. What is it talking for? I'm prepared to do anything. Anything to protect my nephew on the throne. Nana, there should never be the existence of any fair skinned colored person on this land. Any such persons must be sacrificed to the gods. If it is all it takes to protect him and the throne. Well said, Nana. Well said. Nana Hima and Elders. The chief priest called on me yesterday to deliver a message from the gods. A message from the gods? In fact, I could not rejoice over the news. He said to protect this town against both external and internal enemies, every child born here with fair skin must be sacrificed to the gods. Huh? Confused. Nana, this town is important than any of us met here. So I don't think this should be a big problem. Nana, we must obey what the chief priest has said. Our ancestors did their best to protect this town. And if we do nothing to uphold it, I think posterity will never forgive any of us. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, Nana, if sacrificing a fair-skinned person will save this town, why not? 
There is no point arguing or debating over this matter. Yes. The decision is yours. Nana! In this land of Tanasu, 
He's a made for the gods. Let him be sacrificed. No. Nine. <gasps> <gasps> Take him away. And that's more fun to see. Can I can I so gido gido e reni rara? I papa e, I papa e, I kare kahi ang bay. Ngwarama nache nache kotega. Ngwarama nache nache kotega. Kume dukendo kume dukendo nache kotega. Vater, ich beende mein irdisches Dasein und begebe mich in dein Himmelreich. Gib mir Kraft und steh mir bei. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uncle, you sent for me. Oh, yes. Abi, sit down. You know, age is catching up with me. Very soon, our ancestors will call upon me. But there's something that I should let you know. Ofa, how did you know you may soon join our ancestors? I have been dreaming about them every day of late. They want me to come and solve a problem. But listen, Abiyi. There is one very important secret that I must reveal to you so that you can protect it. You know, it is a taboo for a first skin person to thrive in this town. They say if they are allowed to live here, we will lose our power as a state. Ah, that is not the truth. The fact is that I told them that fact just to protect you and my throne. But they said it's an order from the chief priest. Abiy, nobody knows the fact except the chief priest and myself. And as I told you, Nyanting also qualifies to be king of this town. We are finding it difficult to have male children. And if you should die today, I shall have no other choice than to choose somebody from Nantin's family to inherit me. Uncle, what does that got to do with the fair skin? When you were born, Sraha and Kwantabisa wanted to kill you. But the chief priest performed certain rituals to protect you and my throne. He warned me never to allow any first kin person on this land of ours if I want to maintain the throne and to continue to have male children. Mm. So, how were you able to make it a taboo? I told them a lie. That calamity will befall this town if there is any first skin person on this land. I did that to protect our interests. That was a clever move. to be the next king. Me, of course. Who told you that? I am the next king in waiting. That is never true. What is never true? Mm. 
That is never true. Agroni, Tokwani, open your hand. You. Ha, ha, ha. 